What's up everyone and welcome back to another episode of Box Mining Daily. It's been a while since I've done a daily news recap and of course an insight into what's happening in the cryptocurrency world and that's because it was Chinese New Year. It was a great time to celebrate with my family but also more importantly think about how to rationalize everything that's happening in the cryptocurrency world. So this is going to be a more special episode. We're going to start off with the market analysis first of all followed by more news about regulation coming from the United States. So both Republicans and Democrats Democrats are calling for cryptocurrency regulation. Now that seems to be a big topic this year, followed by the Telegram ICO. So we've been all hearing about Telegram ICO and there's also a lot of fake websites for this like public sale of the Telegram ICO. But the problem is no one has actually managed to get into the public sale because there isn't one. They've been raising money with private sales privately and it seems like it's going very well for them so far. So we're going to cover a little bit about that and a little bit about, about what are private sales overall. And then we have NRG. So NRG Esports, they partner up with Engine Coin. This is something that I'm going to focus this year as well. I've got a background in gaming. And I want to bring more of those insights of what's happening in this industry and why different things matter. And of course, lastly, I'm going to talk about the future of box mining. I'm going to talk together with you guys as a community to form the best and most insightful knowledge we can get in this space. All this is going to be covered today. My name is Michael. This is Box Mining Daily and everything covered here is my personal opinion, not financial advice, and I'm not a professional financial advisor. Let's start off with the market recap first of all. So right now we have the overall market cap of cryptocurrencies at $505 billion. So it's been continuously pushing up. Bitcoin has really detached from Ethereum in terms of price. Bitcoin is pushing up 5% more than Ethereum. So right now it seems like the price gap is really favoring Bitcoin right now. So there's a big Bitcoin push and you can see that in the Asian markets as well. If you look at the Korean premium for Bitcoin, it's a little bit more. So it's around 8 percent for Bitcoin and around four percent for Ethereum. So what's happening here? Why is everyone going all the way back to Bitcoin? Well, it might be because, of course, the Asian effect. Basically, Asia right now, after the crash, people start going back home into their families and start talking about cryptocurrencies. So usually in February, we see this push. There might be new players coming into the cryptocurrency field. And of course, they're more interested. The one that brings everyone in is Bitcoin. So that might be one of the reasons why Bitcoin is getting pushed. It might also also be because of the Lightning Network. There's more and more demonstrations of the Lightning Network in progress. More people are realizing that there is a scaling solution for Bitcoin. A lot of people thought Bitcoin was an outdated technology, but not really. Another thing with Ethereum is that Ethereum has a lot of potential as well. The reason why is because there's a lot of ICOs this year. Usually when people come in, they go and go for Bitcoin first, followed by the altcoins, followed by the ICOs. So now, of course, we got this whole market in kind of the cycle yet again. Bitcoin, then maybe altcoin, and then maybe ICOs. That's been kind of the cycle we've been experiencing last year. So it might be going for that trend again. In terms of news, we have the Republicans and Democrats all calling for crypto regulation. This is something that was very abundantly clear if you watch the SEC and the SSC defending cryptocurrencies from the US Senate. So they really made a good case for cryptocurrencies. And that was kind of the turning point of all the fun, of all the dip. The SEC, ironically, were the ones that just held up crypto and said, yeah, this is really legit looking worth looking into. And they're so into it. So it really put a lot of confidence back into crypto. But at the same time, it demonstrated that crypto needs a lot of regulation. Speaking of ICOs, you probably heard of this one, the Telegram ICO. So Telegram, we all use in cryptocurrencies and they're doing ICO for the new Gram token. We've seen that white paper released early in January was a lot of talk about it. And there were a lot of scam websites. I'm not going to show them here, but there were a lot of scam websites trying to pretend to be the actual Telegram website. Right now, at this current point, you cannot buy any Gram tokens. They raised around $85 million through private rounds. So it's all done in private circles and they're not really doing a public one. Right now, in, even if you look at ICO Drops website, there's a link to a Google version of their ICO white paper. This is probably leaked from the private rounds and there's no website. There's no token sale for that. So what's possible, what's possible is that they might not even raise a public one. So I think a lot of people are waiting for this one because you know the big name. Right now, they're doing everything privately. That means that the general public like us, we can't get access to it. It's all done off the table and it's another way of doing ICOs. So this is something that you definitely want to be aware of. Not all ICOs are public. 
and they might even do it all privately. So definitely make sure that you don't get scammed here. Next, we have Energy Sports partnering up with Engine Coin. So this is a very big deal for esports because esports is something that I'm really looking into. Esports is getting bigger and bigger, and having these partnerships between Engine Coin and Energy is going to be huge for basic cryptocurrency adoption in the gaming circles. So Energy itself, they're very strong in San Francisco. They own San Francisco Shock, so they kind of have the San Francisco region for the Overwatch. Esports. If you guys don't play Overwatch, well, it's the biggest Blizzard FPS game. So Energy is pushing hard on their Overwatch game. And more importantly, I think what they're trying to do is they seem very excited for what they can do with cryptocurrencies as well. So this is something that I really want to follow up this year. So this year, in terms of thinking, we saw a lot of partnership announcements last year, but these partnerships must start delivering. And what I want to see, and this is why one of the reasons why I want to go to the Game Developer Conference in San Francisco this year, is to see how game developers respond and esports players respond to all this cryptocurrency stuff. Here's an update from me on what I want to achieve this year. So Chinese New Year has been an amazing time to think about my goals and objectives. And it couldn't have come at a better time. It came at a time when crypto dipped. So we were able to wash out and clean out those scams like BitConnect and Davercoin. But more importantly, it got people thinking. And I think I want this channel to be the most knowledgeable channel. I want this channel to really be able to speak crypto and at a level that we fundamentally understand the technology. The reason why, hear me out on this, is because I feel like making the right decision isn't just about copying the top players in the game. It's about having the knowledge yourself to make that decision. I saw this post about Ty Lopez is about to make someone a crypto millionaire. And I think congratulations to you. But at the same time, I don't agree with just following one source and one YouTuber. And this goes back to the thing I said very controversially last week, which is that all YouTubers are scum. So in that whole incident with the whole YouTube battle over the Superman incident, it was very clear that the community was on a witch hunt for people who are taking sponsored posts. But what I want to say is this. I want to say that I didn't mean that all YouTubers are scum in a sense that YouTubers take a little bit of money from ICOs or whatnot. But at the end of the day, we have our own intrinsic biases. We, it might not be the case where we want to promote a certain coin and get rich off that. It might just be because we like a certain coin. At the end of the day, it's up to you to do your own due diligence. What you like might be different from what I like, and it's good to disagree on that. And what's more important is that it's good to start learning to verify, to distrust first, to distrust everyone first and then to verify those facts yourself. That was the basis of Bitcoin. Basically, Bitcoin, you can verify transactions on your own blockchain. And that was the culture. And I want to bring that to the blockchain space. I want everyone to be able to research and to verify and have the tools to do so. I would love to hear what you want from this channel as well, because this channel has really helped me grow tremendously. I would like to say that before starting a YouTube channel, before starting Box Mining, I was a complete noob in this space. But after last year, after I started making this YouTube channel, as we started interacting together as a whole community, I started to learn much more. And this has really helped me. And I really want to give a lot more back to the community as well. I want to talk about topics that are interesting for you and also have some insight that's interesting for you as well. It might not just be, be requires for covering different coins, but I want different sectors, different fields and why you think that's important. I think that's the most important discussion point, And I would love to hear your comment in this comment section below. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Remember to click that little subscribe button, subscribe to this channel. We have so much in plan this year and I'm so excited for that. And click the little notification button as well. And I know the YouTube subscribe button doesn't always work all the time. You don't get notified of all those live videos. So check out the Telegram notification group. It's only for notifications of new videos. And that would be the best way to get notified when new videos are released. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you next time.